everybody. Welcome back to Magic Root Work of Prosperity and Love. And I'm Shay Wa. If you have not met me yet, I am a trained shamanic practitioner. I work with voodoo and root work. And I call upon traditions and energy of the past to help us in our lives currently with any kind of issues we're having with prosperity, with love issues. Um, and with healing and clearing some of these blocks that still bother us and still uh, they impact and block us at different times in our lives when we're trying to break through to, you know, buying a home, uh, going up to a different level in your career, your business, um, pursuing marriage and love partners and relationships. And you're wondering why things aren't, you know, they're not right and smooth. And it's usually a lot of things in your past and it's always your ancestors and divine energy or earth energy and alchemy that can be there for your assistance. So I wanted to explain that to you. Um, I do all different types of services to help my clients. Uh, today I wanted to start in today with um, just some really not really in depth, but a little bit of informative type reading for uh, the zodiac signs. Okay, I feel like there's so much energy coming through with Aries. I really do feel that. Um, I think it's because of the combination of us in this time of year. May is a huge time of year for rebirth. So, um, specifically today, Saint Expedite, he has been. Uh, his energy is very clear um, that he is there to help you. And he's a very uh, wonderful saint to petition when you're having issues. Issues that, you know, seem to be so earthly, like to do with money, um, finances, trying to get something done quickly that you need help with. Um, also finding things quickly that you need. So I'm going to do some uh, informative, and it's not going to be a really long read for Aries, May 2018. What does Aries need to know right now? Aries. Okay. <clears throat> the Ten of Swords, this is all about um, being done with the situation. I truly feel that some of you, um, it's time for you, Aries, to leave a legacy. It's going to be you walking away from something you completely done, completely finished with a situation at work, at home, a relationship. Um, it's almost like the time has run out. It's over. It's done with. It's nothing else you can do with this job, with this relationship, with this certain situation you're in, with a group of people, or even if it's one-to-one, -one, you and your significant other. Um, there's a time when things are done. I feel like a lot of you will be moving. Um, some of you will be moving because of prosperity. Some, it may feel like you just want a better future. So some relationships with Aries is really coming to an end also. Okay. Let's see. What else does Aries need to know for May 2018? May... 2000. <clears throat> okay. As you can see, these cards are popping backwards by themselves. Yeah. So there was a lot of fighting. This is five of wands. Some of you are feeling so eager that your partner that you had previously for this past three years, the past five years, um, your relationships, they're not going to even be satisfying. You're going to feel like you want something better and you're feeling eager to get out of it. So, I don't know if you're cross-watching for an Aries, uh, maybe your partner is an Aries, but definitely with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords, you're reluctant to just stay any longer in the situation. So, let's get a little bit more. What else should Aries know for May 2018? Aries, what should they know for May 2018? May 2018. Okay. Okay. So this is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is confirming everything that I was saying. 
okay? The Eight of Cups is about walking away and abandoning something that you are done with. It's about walking away, but still you know, because of those three cups remaining, you know that there's something better ahead. So it's, even though everything's been lost, and it's time to go from that job, from that relationship, it's something better ahead. It's walking away, turning your back on something. You don't want it anymore. So Aries, I have to say that during this time, it's good for you to get a foundation, get solid ground and solid footing into your new venture, into the new thing that you're going into, whether it's a new relationship, a new home that you have your sights on, you want to buy, a new job, a new career, starting out in college or educational training. Find out what the foundation is. Find out what do your ancestors have to say about it. You know, is there something divine coming in? Have you had a dream that you need to know more about? You know, so it's a good time to get your footing, whether it's love or career finances. So I hope you had uh, some clarity with that. If you'd like any services, you can click in the information box below. If you want to know how I work with um, conjure, root work, um, healing, you can look further down in some of my other videos, okay? So I'll see you soon, Aries. Take care. Bye-bye.